Hi, it's Technology Laura, and today I'm going to talk to you about integrating iSpring Quizmaker. So let's get started. As a middle school educator, I'm constantly looking for new ed tech tools that are easy for my students to use that promote student engagement and are data driven. So the first thing I want to point out is after you download this, you have two options here on the left hand side. You have a graded quiz or a survey. So let's get started with how we would do a graded quiz. I want to point out here on the left hand column, you click on the question and then there's all these different question type banks. So I really like this because it's not just multiple choice. It could be short answer, fill in the blanks, matching. You can add images. Also, you could do essays. So for example, let's see what a multiple choice question would look like. So I click on here. And then since I teach Spanish, let's say I'm teaching the colors and so I want them to know rojo. And then I would type in the correct answer, an incorrect answer, and also another incorrect answer. And then I can choose which one is correct. In this case, it's this one right here. And then you can give the feedback or change the score point. I don't really need this to be 10 points, so it could be one point. You can give feedback right here. Um, and so let's just look what this preview would look like. So I can click preview and I really like that because that allows me to see what this quiz is going to look like and I can look at it from a desktop view, um, from a cell phone view, which is really fun. A lot of different options there. So we'll just look at it as a desktop view. So um, I would click on red and then I hit submit. And this is my favorite part. It gives Instant feedback for my students says, that's right, you chose the correct response. And then view response, they got obviously 100% and the passing scores 80% mastery. They can review the quiz if they need to go over it again. So let's go back to edit slide. And so let's do a different kind of question group. So question, and then I'll do like a short answer. And I might say, because I like to get to know my students. So I would say, how was your weekend? Um, and then they can go ahead and type anything that they want to. And I would not do this question as graded. I would do it as a survey because obviously I want them to answer any way that they feel. So again, we can do preview. And I can just preview the, that current slide, the whole group or the quiz. So I'll just preview this slide since we already looked at the other one. And then how was your weekend? It was great. And then I can hit submit that. And then I would obviously receive that feedback. So I really like all the options that you can get within the iSpring Quiz Maker. Additionally, if I want to duplicate this question, I could just use that as a template, which I really like. I think that's important. Another question I think type that would be really fun for my students would be to fill in the blanks. I think could see myself um, using this for like subject verb agreement. So I might say something like fill in the blanks. Yo. And then I put in the verb, like, yo estoy bien. And so I would um, fill in the verb. And then they would have to fill in the verb. And I would hit preview. So that was the first question. Second question. Fill in the verb, and then, so that would show me that they got the correct answer. All in all, I really like this because I think it's a very user-friendly for educators. I can see this being integrated with a lot of different contents, like my content, the world language. I could see this used across all different curriculums. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You could also import questions from Excel. If you want to link this, that would be awesome. You can add a video if you wanted to narrate. You can also do a translation if you want to do a picture and audio. So lots of um, opportunities for this.